Now listen to my words, dear cohorts, and listen carefully. I have seen things. Not the normal things people talk of at cocktail parties, but stories of everyday life when things happen. Tables turn and reality suddenly doesn't feel all that real. Young lasses in Canary Bird Squares may not realize that things can change so quickly, but I am one who knows this reality quite true to be. And if you pay attention closely, maybe you too can see. So listen up, sit up straight, no interrupting. I don't repeat myself, and if you don't like what I have to say, then it isn't any sweat off my back. See, I know what I have to tell is of significance, because this particular story happened to me. And if you had met the particular harp of whom I speak, maybe you too could be telling a story like I. My sister Lisa has a job as a phone sex operator. She's a cow, the most pessimistic, vengeful person you ever meet in all your life. She also hates my guts and has been secretly rooting for me to falter since the dawn of her existence. Oh, yeah. You want me to put it where? Okay, okay. Put the rooster in my ass. Oh, yeah. You're right, its wings are flapping. I wasn't really up to much in particular. It was kind of like when Jesus died and then woke up and started walking around his zombified corpse. He was still doing what was expected, but more of in a hurry like. Like he wanted to hurry up and get it over with and go back to sleep. Jesus tells me things. He paints me the future, my lovely audience of non-believers. I am a painter, and Jesus might paint. I was just following a calling. I was listening to the man and carrying out his wishes, playing the brush, while Uncle Jay acted as the substance, the paint. I was hooked. I had to have her. She was beautiful, more beautiful than any creature I had ever seen. My chest hurt and my body ached, but he said no. Something's coming, not just any something, but there's a real evil lurking around my sister. Okay, let me know if you need anything. Okay. Okay. 
Something bad is going to happen. Hey. What are you doing here? I got a school here, you freak. Jesus never smoked her. I once asked what he called Autumn. I need to figure out what's happening. The Dark Covey is a wife. He's evil. There are signs. I needed to tap the source. I needed ultimate interior. It was time. I felt plenty of. But is not spirituality all about sacrifice? And without guilt, all of Western religion would be obsolete. Yes, may I help you? Uh, we're here to pick up Lisa. Uh, sorry, they're gone. Oh, car's right out. They took my car. <clears throat> Who are you? I'm nobody, pal. I'm What? Huh? What? What? The fuck is right? Is she not here? Or what the fuck? Um, Lisa, is she here? No, Lisa! We're supposed to meet Lisa here. What? Lisa, man. Who? Well, no. So they're not here? Or? That's right. What the fuck is your um, problem, man? Look, would you like me to go over and write it down? Then maybe you guys can read it over and over again. Thanks, have a good night. No, wait a second. What the fuck are you supposed to be anyway? I'm a brush. Um, okay, well. Have Lisa call us or tell her we stop by, man. She knows who we are. It was okay that she didn't speak. It was all right that the young harp didn't acknowledge my efforts with a thank you, for that could not have made me happier than I already was.
five children, ages ranging from three to six, were found living along the outskirts of the Clackamas River and have reportedly discovered relevant theories and actual mathematical equations regarding time travel. But first, two young men, Michael McDermott and Jesse Madison, died early this morning in a fatal car crash. Authorities say alcohol was most likely involved. Their vehicle was reported by several motorists who reported the Black Maxima losing control and going over the steel bridge.